In this video, we will see how to set up a team in Canva, an established group of people you can work with and share designs with. But before we see this, we need to clarify an important detail. From the Canva website, we can go to the menu at the top for plans and pricing, then go to compare pricing. So in this course, we've talked about the free version of Canva and the pro version, but there's also a Teams subscription. Now, you might think that you are required to have a Teams subscription before you can make or join a team, but that is not the case. Anybody can create or join a team even if they have the free account. If you do that, the members of the team will be limited to the free features. The team subscription is a way to enable all of the pro features as well as a few additional team-based features for all members of your team. We will see some features in the chapter about branding tools which do require the team subscription. But for now, let's see how to set up a team even if you have a free or individual pro account. Of course, we'll go back over to Canva, and I want to look at the sidebar on the left. It says that I am using Canva in the personal mode. I am not currently in a team. You can make a new team by clicking the Create a Team button here on the sidebar, or if you don't see that option, it might be because you are already part of a team. But that's fine. You can make additional teams if you need to. You can click the gear button up at the top to go to Settings. On the left, we'll go to Billing and Plans, then scroll down, and there's an option to create a new team here. So I will click on that button to create a new team. I need to give the team a name. And if it prompts you to add people when you make the team, you can do that or you can skip it. We'll see how to add people in just a moment. For now, I'll create the team and I'll close this panel. And now I have the new team. Instead of saying personal over on the sidebar on the left, it now has the name of the team. And this is actually a menu that you can open. So you could switch back to your personal section, or if you are a member of multiple teams, you can switch between them here. But now that I have that team, we should see how to add people and manage the team. So make sure you select the team that you want to be working with. Then you can click the gear button up at the top to go back to settings. And now on the left side, I can see the name of the team that I am currently in. I'll select team details. And from here, you can change the name of the team or even delete it later. Then on the left, I'll go over to the people section, and this is where you can add people to your team or remove them later. To add people, you can click the invite button here or down here. So I'll click invite and add some people using their email address. I'll click on the next field and add another address. and you can go through and add more people if you want. But for now, I'll just stick with these two people and I'll click send invitations. Each of those people will receive an email with a link to join the team. And if they do not already have a Canva account, they will need to set up an account. They will not have access to the team until they click that link in the email they receive. So I can see here that I am listed as the team owner. And those other people are listed as members. As the team owner, I could remove any of these people at any time. And if you have a large team with lots of members, you may want to go to the groups option over on the left, where you can create separate groups and assign team members to those groups. Later, you can share design projects with specific groups. So now I have my team and I can manage members of the team and I'm going to click the Canva logo up at the top to go back to the home page in Canva. So now in the sidebar, I can see the name of the team. I could open this menu and I could switch back to my personal designs or if I was a member of other teams, I could switch to those here. And while we were working on this, Julie has accepted the invitation to this team. So there is a number two under the team name. There are now two members, myself and Julie. And if Sandy accepts the invitation, this will show three numbers. And it also shows that this is a free team. So this team is limited to the free features. Members of the team can share designs with each other, but they will be limited to the features that you would find in a free Canva account. 
If you need to upgrade to all of the features of the Canva for Teams subscription, there's a button to do that right here. That would enable all of the pro features for every member of the team, and it would enable the team branding features that we'll use later in this course. Or if the free features are enough for you, this is all you need to set up a team and share designs.